Cat of Smaxmas here, this time with a review of the Harbor Freight Icons uh, Tongue and Groove Channel Lock Style Slip Joint Pliers. Uh, Harbor Freight's continuing to expand on their more expensive tools. I'm sure it's helping their profits and their investors. But they have a declining selection of the really cheap stuff, which is what, you know, uh, what they're really known for, for people who just wanted a cheap tool, hardly used tools, and uh, they really need such expensive stuff. Anyway... I think these are reasonably priced, you know, 15 bucks or something like that. 9 inch, I have a pair of 10 inch channel locks I'm comparing these to. And I'll say that these icons are decent. I do like their thick uh, over molding. But I don't like the way they dealt, dealt with the fastener. It is a decently heavy duty fastener, but they use what is known as a prevailing torque nut. That's an, kind of like a type of lock nut where they just upset the thread so it really seats tight a long time ago i'd have to say 15 20 years ago channel lock just went with a hot rivet hot rivets are riveted hot and then smushed over and as they cool they really cinch down and they're a really very reliable form of fastening and channel lock did that just because uh it just eliminates any possibility when these get really used i have tons of slip joint pliers tons of pliers that use nuts and inevitably, they will eventually get loose with use. And so I do kind of approve of the hot rivet just because it won't ever get loose unless you really torque on it. Icons, once again, they seem pretty decent. Nice, decently sharp jaws. You know, they're just the same as any other slip joint pliers. Even though this is a set of slightly larger 10-inch channel locks. Uh, you know, the channel locks do just have a bit more meat on the moving jaw. Just a bit more cross-section there. They seem to be about as thick. It's a little bit of a throw-off because there's this extra flange here on the channel lock. If we look, we can see that this front portion is wider. And they just put that in there just to help increase the strength a little bit here. So when you're putting a lot of pressure on it, it's less likely for this section to bend. And it would have been kind of nice if Harbor Freight would have done the same thing with the icons. I'm sure they're plenty of strong for a 9-inch set of pliers. They could have done a little bit better. Most channel locks pliers are still made in the United States, and so I do support them. The icons are Taiwanese, but nonetheless, you know, I'm a U.S. citizen, so I like supporting jobs that are domestic. And I appreciate that channel locks actually put in an effort to still have a lot of domestically manufactured tools, particularly their legacy things like pliers. The other thing that has me questioning uh, these icons a little bit is Harbor Freight already had the Doyles. And I'm pretty sure that the Doyles and these icons are just going to be about the same in strength. I mean, I don't have, I don't make the kind of money to buy tools and test them to failure, but um, I'm pretty sure the Doyles would offer, you know, 80, 90 percent, if not almost the same performance as these icons. So these almost kind of seem like a cow's cow over their already upgraded premium Doyle. Considering that they just have a whole array of doils, so they're just you know trying to find other tools to slap the icon name on.